What's happening guys? We're back and we're doing upper control arms today. Alright, so we got the lower control arms done last week. Uh, now we need to move on to the upper control arms. It's largely the same process, uh, but they do need to be significantly shorter. So I'm going to grab that same jig that we were using for the lowers and we're going to modify it a little bit to bring those plates a little closer. And then also we need to measure up kind of where we want the hind joints to land on the chassis and then uh, adjust the, uh, the spacing side to side. We're also going to need to drill a new hole for the, uh, the ball joint because it's, it's a significantly smaller shank. So let's grab the jig, throw her up on the table, measure up the chassis, and then uh, get to cutting tubes. So we drilled a new hole. Um, we had to offset this top jig piece here like two inches back in order to get this in the right spot. And then moved everything closer together. So it's actually a really short control arm. It's only six inches of actual control arm. But then between the pivots were like 9.8 inches. So because it's such a short arm, we're not gonna be able to do what we did on the lowers which has come from the, the end of this threaded plug up to the body of this one. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish mouth both sides of our, our bars so that we're gonna go from the side of this one down to the side of this one and vice versa, just so we get a little bit more angle or else it's essentially gonna be like square. And I don't want that because it's gonna look ugly. So let's grab some of our one inch and uh, start fish mouthing. So we got them cut to size. Um, I cut all four of them so that we can uh, put the saw away. The, uh, the front ones are a little bit longer than the back ones, but uh, these are real rough cuts because we gotta do so much grinding on them anyhow that a little bit extra length isn't gonna hurt us. So let's uh, throw some cubbies on and grind them into a fish mill. Gonna spare you guys the massive amount of grinding that I just had to do to fish mouth these um, because there's a fish mouth on both ends uh, I couldn't go very fast because if I cut too deep I have to start over entirely so there's a lot of kind of fit up and then checking and minor massaging and a little bit of filing here and there but I got them both done so let's stick them in the jig and uh, tack them in
All right, so we had a bit of a snafu there. This, uh, I didn't think about this ball joint having to swing all the way under in order to unthread itself because when I was doing the lower control arms, I was using that plug made out of an old, well, the, the end off of the, the one ball joint. So in order to get this upper control arm out of the jig to flip it over to weld the other side, we would either have to cut the ball joint off or undo all these screws that you can't access or do what I did, which was just cut a big access hole. So that's what we did. Um, yeah. So this is tacked up, we're gonna pull it out, flip it over, weld the other side, and then we can flip it over and, uh, and finish weld this side. Alright guys, I ran into a bit of an issue. Um, turns out I didn't square up that uh, this, this piece when I screwed it back down. So it's at an angle, hence my ball joint sleeve now is at an angle. So when I went to flip this over to weld the other side, it doesn't fit back into the jig. So I don't know if it's going to be a big deal or not. I could cut this all apart and redo it but that sounds like a big pain. So what I did is I just put some pretty healthy tacks on this guy and I'm gonna just use this as it is and not build the second one. Uh, so we'll continue on the suspension on one side and if this works, I'll just build a second one with that same tilt in it so that they're identical. Um, yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna build a second one if this one's not gonna work because I learned my lesson on the lower control arms. So we got an issue with these as well. Uh, the ball joint sleeve, here I'll show you. The ball joint sleeve is right in line with the A-arm, so it can travel really far down, but not very far up before it hits the, the limit of travel on the ball joint. So that would give us lots of compression. The wheel could go up really high, but it couldn't drop far enough. So to fix that, we're gonna have to modify these lower control arms. And I wish I would've caught it before I built two. Um, fixing one's way easier than fixing two. So I'm gonna take the evening and kind of think about this one to see if we do need to change it um, or if we can just kind of continue on. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to move on to something else. So. I'm going to take the evening and think about this and catch up with you guys tomorrow. And we're back. Um, had some time to think about, uh, about our A-arm issue with the, the slight tilt to the ball joint. Um, I think we're just going to keep going. Uh, I don't think that this slight amount of misalignment is going to be a big deal. Uh, we'll just call it extra caster adjustment, I guess. So today, I'm going to use the same jig and make a second one of these and hopefully it turns out with the same amount of tilt and then uh, there's enough adjustability with all the heim joints and ball joints that I think we can get a pretty good uh, pretty good suspension setup out of it. So let's let's grab the grinder and fish melt the other tubes. We got fish mouse on both ends. Um, it took a long time, but uh, it always does when you're doing it with a grinder. So I'm just about out of daylight, but I have enough time to tack them in at least so that next episode we can move on to something different. So let's fire up the welder, throw these in the jig, and throw some tacks on them. All 
All right, guys, we got that all tacked up. I'm gonna let that cool off overnight. Um, I'm out of time and it's starting to rain outside. So I'm gonna call it an episode. We got this arm all, we got this arm all done today. We got this arm all done yesterday. They're not finished welded, but I'm probably just gonna leave them tacked up for now. We can do all the suspension work around them while they're tacked. And then if we do end up having to make changes, we can do it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching you guys. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media. Next episode, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but come back and see. I'm out of here.